would say uh, that if we're looking at it from the perspective of the uh, United States, you'd have to say that uh, the continued uh, threat to the very survival of our, our globe and, and climate change within the United States has to be uh, the most underreported story uh, in the United States of America today. But while the rest of the world is trying to grapple with climate change, the American people continue to be in denial uh, of climate change, largely as a result of the uh, terrible role that the news media have played in bringing that crucial, important story uh, to the people. Uh, but I think in general, worldwide, uh, I, th I would say that one of the really underreported stories of our time has been how uh, capitalism has increasingly been uh, deformed as a system by the, uh, the uh, financial institutions that are really running the world now. Not just, uh, uh, I reported for instance that one of the underreported stories of Mexico was how after NAFTA, uh, uh, foreign banks took over the entire banking system of Mexico. Uh, lit literally bought up all the banks of Mexico, increased the interest rates, and brought uh, untold suffering to millions of, of Mexicans. The same thing is happening worldwide. We're seeing in the, Cy in the Cyprus crisis, the Greece crisis. These are all crises created by financial institutions that are strangling the ability of the populations of these countries, more so than the old, old industrial capital had done. Uh, the financial capital now is really running roughshod over the world, and there's very little reporting. It's all, it's all talked about a financial crisis, a debt crisis, but it really is a predator crisis of the banks that are running amok uh, uh, in the